Have you ever had a time where you're working on a project and someone says, hey, you know, put that all together and then send me a PDF, right? But unfortunately, all your stuff is broken out into different PDFs. And you just want to kind of smush them together, you know, smush them into one PDF. Now, your first thought might be, hold on, I think I saw a combined files. Yeah, there it is, combined files there on the sidebar. But when you click through that, wah, wah, it's hidden behind a paid feature. Good old Adobe. Well, we don't want to have to pay for something if we can do it for free. So today I'm going to show how you can use LaTeX to combine PDF documents, split, reorganize, anything that you need to do as far as shifting pages around, you can do in LaTeX. Now before you can do this, you'll need to install some version of LaTeX. Here on Windows, I'm using MicTech, and I'm using Tech Studio as the editor. Links are provided down in the description for these, but if you're not on Windows, you can easily find installs for Mac or Linux or whatever platform you're on. So the first thing you want to do is create a new tech document and you want to save it in the location with the PDF documents that you have. So in this case we have our cover PDF that we were looking at and our doc3 PDF. We want to be able to combine those two. So it's as simple as putting in a use package for PDF pages, which is the name of the package we're going to be using. And then you can just say include PDF pages equals, if you put a dash, it'll import the entire PDF document and then the name of it. So in this case, we're including everything from the cover PDF followed by everything from the doc3 PDF. If we compile that, we'll see it generates a new PDF file and they're all glued together. Easy as pie. And you can open up the generated document in your own editor as well. It just gets created in that exact same directory. Now for this next example, we're gonna extract specific pages from the documents and put them together. So we have doc1, which is just Document one, page one, each page is numbered by which page it is, just so it's easy to see. And then we've got doc two. And these are just pictures, again, labeled by which page they're on. So in this case, we're gonna take one, three, and five from document one, followed by two and three from document two. Build that, and there we are, easy as pie. So we've got pages one, three, and five from document one, followed by pages two and three from document two. For this third example, we're gonna show how you can even intermingle your pages. So we're just gonna pull in page one from doc one, followed by page one from doc two, then page two from doc one, then page two from doc two, page three from doc one, page three from doc two. And finally, we're gonna take pages four through five of doc one and put them at the end. So this would be, for example, if we wanted to take these pictures and inject them kind of in the middle of the PDF document. Let's run that, and there we go. So if we go back to the top, there's document page one, followed by picture one, page two, picture two, page three, picture three, and then pages four and five at the end. Super clean, super simple, and the syntax is similar to any common delimited or range syntax that you might be used to. As the last example, let's take a look at something that a teacher might wanna do. Say we've got this open textbook here, and we want to extract only the sections talking about Pompeii and put those in a PDF that we can then post for the students to be able to do as a reading, for example. So I'm going to pick the first page. I want to put that there. Um, since this is an open textbook, we're going to include the attribution, which is required. And then we can go down here, and I've already picked them out here. But if we look at the page number here, we can put our range of pages 37 through 47, which is all of the pages discussing Pompeii. So fairly straightforward. And if you run that, we now end up with a nice PDF that has that front cover art, the copyright, and then only the selected pages from the textbook, all bundled together in a nice neat PDF that we can then upload and send to the students or whatever is, whatever is appropriate. So there you go. Now you know how to combine PDF files using LaTeX. Hope you enjoyed. Like if you like, subscribe for more content like this, and thanks for watching.